Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. A 25-year-old woman is suing Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, alleging that the billionaire... Sorry about that, y'all had to yawn. Alleging that the billionaire paid her another hundreds of thousands of dollars in 1996 to conceal that he was the girl's biological father, a secret that the lawsuit says she has carried her entire life. At the age of one, the girl was bound to secrecy by a confidentiality agreement signed by her mother, according to the lawsuit. Jones denied in settlement documents that he was the biological father of the child, but he paid the woman $375,000 in exchange for confidentiality and had an Arkansas friend and lawyer named Donald Jack set up two trusts for the girl linked to her and her mother, keeping Jones' paternity a secret, according to the lawsuit, a copy of which was obtained by Esmond. A Texas judge ordered the case sealed this week after a motion filed by Jones' lawyer. The Dallas Morning News first reported on the lawsuit earlier Wednesday. Alexandra Davis, who lives in Washington, D.C., filed her lawsuit against Jones, now 79, in Dallas County Court last Thursday. It says Jones courted her mother, Cynthia Davis Spencer, in 95, when she was working at the American Airlines ticket counter in Little Rock, Arkansas. Spencer was estranged from her husband at the time. The lawsuit says Alexandra Davis has lived her life fatherless and in secret and feared that if she should tell anyone who her father was, she and her mother would lose financial support or worse. The lawsuit alleges plaintiff has had to endure the endless public profiles of her father and siblings while forced to remain secret to everyone, including her closest confidants, it says. Jones and his wife, Jean, have three children, Stephen, Jerry Jr., and Charlotte Jones Anderson. Jim Wilkinson, the spokesman for Jones, declined to comment. Davis, Dallas-based attorney Andrew Bergman also declined to comment. Davis has asked the court to be recognized as Jones' daughter and to be released from the confidentiality agreement that her mother agreed to when she was a baby. It is hard to imagine what could be less in the best interest of a child than to enforce agreements that leave a child without a father and which prevent or legally punish a child from even stating her stating who her father is. The lawsuit says the lawsuit alleges that Jones abandoned and shunned Davis and forced her to live in secrecy after her birth in Little Rock on December 16, 1996. The combined effects of the aforementioned agreements and Cynthia's divorce proceedings resulted in plaintiff never having a legal father. The lawsuit says to add incredible insult to injury, plaintiff has had to spend her entire life hiding and concealing who her real father is. Defendant Jones' only role in plaintiff's life to date other than to shun her has been to coerce her from ever disclosing his identity. Despite that, the lawsuit says that Davis has excelled academically and professionally. She now works as an aide to U.S. Representative Ronnie Jackson, who's a Republican out of Texas. After working for 14 months in the White House during Trump's presidency, after Davis' birth, Davis Spencer and Jones worked together to conceal his paternity, the lawsuit says. Faced with the, literally existent, the literal existence of plaintiff and the public and personal ramifications that will result therefrom, defendant Jones, forever the deal-making entrepreneur that he is, decided to do what he always does, make a deal to assure that he would not be publicly or privately identified and or declared as plaintiff's father, the lawsuit says. David Spencer was going through a divorce at the time, the lawsuit alleges. Defendant Jones, with the help of lawyers, knowing that Cynthia was now a single mother with a very young child and an uncertain financial future at best, set out to negotiate a settlement that would exchange money for silence or we like to call it hush money, the lawsuit says. Jones is alleged to have set up two trusts that the lawsuit alleges contained the hush money payment and the hush money terms, including $375,000 paid to David Spencer. 
Jones agreed to provide through indirect means and with his personal identity hidden, ongoing financial support for Cynthia and plaintiffs so long as Cynthia remained silent about the fact that he was plaintiff's father. The lawsuit alleges if Cynthia failed to maintain such silence, the support would end at defendant Jones' discretion and Cynthia would supposedly be in breach of the deal. The lawsuit was posted on the Dallas Country Courts website Monday and thus available to hundreds of Texas lawyers and excuse me, and other members of the public. The team discovered it late Monday and on Tuesday went into court and persuaded a judge to place Davis' lawsuit temporarily under seal, pending a March 31st hearing. Last month, Espen reported that the Cowboys paid a $2.4 million confidential settlement with four members of their cheerleading squad who accused the now former team executive of voyeurism in their locker room in September 2015. According to a 2016 settlement agreement and non-disclosure agreement, the cheerleaders accused Richard Dalrymple of using his security key card to enter the back door of their locked dressing room during an event at AT&T Stadium. One of the women alleged she clearly saw Dalrymple standing behind a partial wall with his iPhone, iPhone extending toward them as they were changing their clothes. In a second allegation, a Cowboys fan who was watching a live stream from the team's war room during the 2015 NFL Draft swore in an uh, affidavit that he saw Dalrymple take upskirt photos of Charlotte Jones Anderson. Dalrymple, who retired February 2nd, did not respond to interview requests by Espen. He issued a statement through the team that called both allegations false. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, we know it's false, but this is what I want to say. This is why I made that video that the owners are protected by the NFL more than the players. Like, on, like if this was a player who did this, if this was a player who did this, a player who was um who 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 had all of this concocted, he would be dragged through the mud. He would be called a liar, he would have been called all these things. But see, since it's the owner, nobody cares, right? And see, this is why I blame the fan dumbs. <laughs> all the fans. We have all these crooked owners in the league, but yet nobody wants to call it out when it's time to call them out. Jerry Jones has been a scumbag forever. Always been. Always been a guy who's messed with multiple women. He's always been caught with multiple women. He got caught. A chick took a photo with her and her friend with Jerry Jones, and you easily could see Jerry Jones was intoxicated. Now, is he the biological father? I believe he is. I believe Jerry Jones is the father, and I believe that Jerry Jones um, basically paid that money to have it hidden so it doesn't mess him up. Because look, even with the Michael Jordan situation, and all this stuff is allegedly, by the way, and this is the Fair Use Act, so... Even when Michael Jordan was, you know, caught, he paid that one time to the chick and he moved on from it, knowing that wasn't his child. Jerry Jones has been paying, made him sign a non-disclosure agreement and has been paying her half, like damn near under half a million in hush money. So if he's not the father, then why are you paying for this woman? But I guess he didn't want the affair to get out there because he know it would ruin him. But it's like Jerry, Jerry's always been this way. He's a man who's egotistical. He's a man who doesn't learn from his mistakes. He's a man who doesn't listen to the people who he has in charge around him.
you know, it. it's always this type of crap that pisses me off because the owners, it's okay for them to do whatever they want, but the players get treated like crap and continuously get treated like crap. It's a shame. So, you know, let me know what you guys think, man. Um, do y'all think Jerry Jones did it or don't you? And do you feel like the owners get way more protection than the players? Also, give a shout out to and Andrew Gray, man, for the donations. I appreciate it, my brother, um, a whole lot. You've been supporting my page, like, <laughs> for a long time. And, you know, I'm going to continue dropping the content and stuff. And I'm going to check out that Tana talk with um, Benny the Butcher. I'm going to look into that. I'm going to listen to that today. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Thank you, guys, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit the notification bell to select all. To receive upcoming notifications and if you guys love what you hear you guys can go to the um link y'all can um hit the cash app link in my description box you can donate whatever you're willing to give and when our videos go live or premiere hey you guys can super chat so thank you guys for listening and we out deezy